Welcome back to another Vulcan 7 tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through email campaigns inside of Vulcan 7. I'm super excited about this because there are so many opportunities with this email campaign system and it's actually set up very well. So let's dive into what it is, how you can use it and how you can maximize your results inside of Vulcan 7 by doing this. So first of all, you should have a large amount of emails that you've collected. I know Vulcan gives you some emails, but hopefully you've gotten people that have given you permission to email them that you can use for these campaigns because they are gonna be automated. Now these campaigns, we are going to be using video. They are so powerful, so I highly suggest that you do this. If you do not have videos and you don't know what to create, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to my free guide, 101 real estate video ideas that you can download and start implementing on right away. So we're gonna go to marketing tools first, then we're going to click the email campaign. We're going to create an email campaign. Now, if you have not created a email account inside of Vulcan 7, you are going to have to set up the SMTP account. It says for advanced users only. However, I highly suggest that if you're serious about this, you do this as well. It does give you information on how to set it up. Um, let's look into this real quick. So basically, you have a lot of different options when we go to provider. So let's say you have 500 or less emails set up. I would probably start using G Suite. I'm sorry, 500 or less on your email list. I'd probably start out with G Suite, okay? If you're above that 500 mark or you really wanna make sure that you're converting at the highest rate you possibly can, I would look into SendGrid. SendGrid's gonna be your best option. However, it may not be the best option initially, budget-wise, when you're first getting started. So that's where you can use Gmail or G Suite and so on. So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna set everything up so that you are ready to start sending emails. Once that's done, we're gonna to start to create our email content. So now we're gonna add the message. We're gonna put in day number one, right? Cause this is our day number one message. Next, we're gonna to go to our subject, three things to expect from your agent when you list your home. Now again, once you download that guide, you're gonna have all sorts of options that you can create videos on. Go ahead, pick whichever ones it is. You're gonna use those for the title or if you can make them even punchier, go for that. Here's where this gets really powerful. Now I understand that Vulcan 7 has Storyteller, and that is an option if you wanted to. However, if you're working on a YouTube channel, I highly suggest you do this a little differently. As a side note, if you're a real estate agent and you don't have a YouTube channel, I don't know what you're doing. That's crazy. It is one of the biggest opportunities we have right now as agents. I highly suggest you get on that. If you say, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to start putting out content to actually get clients coming in. Download the free guide. After you do that, it's gonna take you to a video that's gonna tell you about a super inexpensive program to dive into learning how to use video in your business. But let's keep going. So like I said, you can add a video. These are gonna be from your uploads inside of Storyteller. But I'm gonna show you what I recommend instead, okay? So here's what I would do. You go to Canva. Let's say you're doing the three seller mistakes, right? We're gonna create a design. We're gonna to go to YouTube thumbnail. It's gonna be very simple. We're just gonna make whatever our video thumbnail is, the image here, right? So you should already have a thumbnail for your YouTube video. If you don't, always make sure you have a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. It's just, yeah, you need to do that. So let's say we go here, boom. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this picture of me. So let's say that was your thumbnail, right? But how do we get people to actually click it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna type in the play button. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a free one because these are all pro. I have the pro account, you don't need it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the free, right? So we go here just like this, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, okay? I'm gonna center it. We're gonna change it from black, or I'm sorry, from red and white to black and white. Now I'm going to do this one more time, okay? And I'm going to make this one smaller, all right? So see how that sits right in the center there? and it makes it actually look different. Now I can take my thumbnail and I could also go like this, make it look a little bit different, a little bit more uh, attention grabbing. So let's say I did that, right? So now it looks a little bit more attention grabbing and we have this right here. So you can see the big play button, okay? So now we take it like that, we download it as a PNG or JPEG, whatever it is you wanna download it as. We bring this back over to Vulcan 7. We're going to upload our image. So you drag and drop, super easy, right? Drag and drop, now we see, oh wow, that looks like I can click it. But obviously if they click the picture, nothing happens. Unless we click edit, and now we say my 
YouTube dot video, right? And then we want it to open in another tab because otherwise they'll close out our email. We want them to open it in a separate tab. So by doing this, now you have your video, three things to expect from your agent when you list your home, and it's sending them over to your YouTube. So hopefully there you're requiring, or not requiring, but requesting them to subscribe, just like you should be on this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the little subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment if this is helpful. I really wanna know if this is actually helping people or if I'm just uh, rattling this off to myself. But anyways, you send them back to your YouTube channel where you have more content, where they can start consuming more of your content. And when they watch your video, now they see you more often on YouTube. It's literally free retargeting. So this is why it's so powerful to be using video inside of your Vulcan 7 email campaigns. And again, like I mentioned, if you don't have videos, you don't know what to create, the free guide's down below in the description. Also, there's a link to a special offer for Vulcan 7. You can get that down below in the link. Hopefully this has been helpful. You're starting to see some of the potential of what you could be doing with your Vulcan 7 dialer, aside from just calling, because the power in having something automated is awesome. When it's automated, it's working when you're not. So when you're cold calling, your systems are also helping you generate more leads and optimizing your time making you more efficient, more effective, and raising your dollar per hour activity. So again, make sure you're doing it. Also, if you need to, you can size those differently. It doesn't have to be that YouTube full-size thumbnail. You can do a smaller one if it doesn't look right in your email. Make sure you're previewing it, checking it, testing it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.